people welcome back to my channel my name is Jasmine Danielle in case you are new here I hope you'll stick around subscribe and hit your notification bell that way you know every time I upload a new video here on my channel we are doing all sorts of fun videos about how to get rid of negative self-talk how to live your best life how to make yourself a priority um, self-care 101 <laughs> basically we are taking care and living our best lives all 2019 and beyond so today's video it's all about how to protect your energy all 2019 and beyond <laughs> so when I say protect your energy I just mean how to keep your space your um, environment positive no bad vibes just all good energy all 2019 and beyond so many times we put ourselves in situations where there's someone who's coming in with negative energy and that energy transfers onto us and now we're in a negative mood we're in a bad mood and I just want to give you guys three tips that have really worked well for me when it comes to getting rid of the negative and bringing in more positive so that I can live a happier more productive life my number one tip and literally this has been like a game changer for me has been to clean up your social media feeds you guys here's the thing you have to realize social media should be a fun and enjoyable place if you are logging into instagram or twitter and every day you're scrolling and you're just annoyed by the content that you're seeing the people you're following are posting negative things or maybe their experiences are affecting you in a negative way and not even just like in the content is bad but like you know sometimes FOMO is real fear of missing out and you may see people doing things and that may cause you to feel like well why am I not in that place why am I not doing those things and I can speak for myself that was definitely something that I was struggling with um, for a while just in my own journey just not feeling like I was where I needed to be or going where I need to go you see people who are just so successful and it makes you feel like when am I ever going to get that? And while it's good to be inspired by people, I think sometimes if you feel it leaving from inspiration and going more towards just negative feelings, it's time to let it go. So something I suggest doing is cleaning up your social media feeds, unfollowing pages that just no longer um, interest you. Sometimes we've been on social media for so long that we're following pages that we don't even really care about or people we don't really care about and um, or who lifestyles just no longer match our own so it's totally fine to just go ahead unfollow those people and also now on Instagram there's a feature where you can just mute um, people you can mute their posts or mute their stories that way if you don't really want to unfollow them you still want to support them but you just don't want to see as much of them on your feed that's a good option something I had to do was I had to unfollow the shade room on Instagram if you're on Instagram I'm pretty sure you know who the shade room is and I to unfollow them now I just go and I check and I scroll their Instagram feed whenever I feel like it but for a while there I would log on to my Instagram and all I would see is the shade room post and if you go on the shade room you know their comment section is like the ghetto <laughs> their comment section is like Hades okay like those people are so <sighs> It's another story but I got tired of seeing it so I just unfollowed them and now I just go to their page whenever I feel like it and maybe that's something that you can do too if you have accounts that you're following or if you just want to clean up your social media feed so if you're unfollowing all those people or muting all these pages go back and start following pages that really interest you or inspire you follow inspiring public figures people who are living a life that you would also like to live and re really just study how did they get it what are they doing and start to incorporate some of their actions into your own life um, something else that I would suggest and this is something that I ended up doing maybe you don't feel like just cleaning up your whole social media maybe you follow so many people that the idea of just scrolling through and trying to unfollow people or meet people is just a bit daunting so something I did was I created a finsta or a fake Instagram account and it's not really that it's fake um, I just only solely on this Instagram account I only follow positive like affirmation pages I follow a lot of therapists a lot of um, home decor things that make me happy um, and celebrities that I find or public figures that I find to be really inspiring and positive that is all that I follow on this finsta and let me tell you something it has been a game 
changer not only that but it allows me to post things where I can feel a little bit more vulnerable because I'm not under the gaze of like my everyday people who I know in real life and I have found it to be completely cathartic and so so enjoyable honestly I spend more time on my finsta scrolling than I do on my actual Instagram so that is something that I would suggest for you guys it has really been a game changer it really lifts my mood and I totally would recommend that My second tip for protecting your energy all 2019 and beyond is to stop with the negative self-talk. Listen, you guys, this is something I have struggled with for the better part of my whole life, honestly. Um, it's really easy to get wrapped up into the narrative that society has placed upon you or um, the ideals that people have about, you know, any category of people you know for me it's really hard because I'm a black woman I'm a plus-size black woman and sometimes I feel like I am just at the bottom of the totem pole and honestly that's because of how people in society have expressed their views about black women or women or fat women and all of those things that you internalize from a child until your adulthood it kind of can really bother you and something that I've learned through going to therapy and just um, really doing my own self-care work and self-love work is that what society thinks or what society deems as normal does not always have to be what's for you it does not have to be true to you and um i think that coming to that realization really changed a lot for me and it's not an easy one to come to it takes a lot of hard work don't get me wrong i like i said i've gone to therapy i've done things like that and um journaling and sh just really trying to shift your mindset when you've thought a certain way your whole life can be really really hard but starting to change the way we talk about ourselves and think about ourselves is such a huge step towards protecting your energy because once you start that shift of really believing that you are worthy and that you are good enough and that you are this great person you'll start to your energy will start to reflect that and things that people say or do or whatever opinion someone may have will no longer affect you so there's several different ways that you can stop negative self-talk it sounds like it can be really hard and honestly it is you have to really practice because I have days where I drag myself and I'm like girl why did you do that you are really stupid like what were you thinking and then I have to step back and say okay wait a minute how can we approach the situation like what actually happened let's look at the reality of the facts so something to remember whenever you are trying to minimize or stop negative self-talk remember that your thoughts and feelings aren't always reality sometimes our views and our thoughts are skewed or warped because we're hearing the negative things that other people have put on us and that may not actually be true about yourself um you can also something else that i learned um, through therapy was like giving your inner critic a name or giving them a persona i mean i think if you think back far enough you all have someone we've all come across someone who was really overly critical of us or maybe there was someone who really affected you in a way name your inner critic that and say hey that's not jasmine thinking those thoughts that's negative nancy and negative nancy has got to go negative nancy doesn't know what she's talking about negative nancy is thinking and acting off of emotion and not logic and reality another way to stop or minimize self-talk is to think and treat yourself as your friend would or think or treat yourself the way you would um, you would treat a child it's kind of like parenting yourself or being a friend to yourself because here's the thing if your friend is having a problem you're never going to go to your friend and be like wow you're a dumb bitch and look at how stupid you are why would you even do that you idiot like or flip side if there's a child who's eating a piece of cake you wouldn't go up to that child and say wow fatty stop eating that cake like you would never do that honestly no one would ever do that to their friend or to a child so think of your inner self critic that way and when those negative thoughts just go back and treat yourself like you would your friend and be kind to yourself be nice to yourself be gentle with yourself i know it sounds kind of cheesy you guys i really know it does but if battling self negative self-talk is something that's difficult for you 
I promise you just doing any of these things will really really help and just get into the habit of doing it make it a practice always go back to the basics and I promise you you'll start to shift your mindset and you'll start to see a change in the way you talk to yourself and when you do it feels so good My third and final tip for how to protect your energy all 2019 and beyond is get rid of those toxic relationships, you guys. Those toxic friendships, whether it's family, friends, a relationship, exes. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, you guys. You can't give in to the energy that people are bringing you. And I'm sorry, it doesn't matter who it is. At the end of the day, our mental health and our own personal well-being is way more important than how other people feel or react or, you know, think when you tell them no or how you approach them. So, for example, if you have an ex who you claim y'all are like friends but really they're just coming around every time they want something from you or you know what I mean cut let it go it's it's above me now that's the energy you need to have all 2019 it's above me now but at the end of the day a, and the climate that we live in today's society I, I'm sorry. I understand that but it's it's above me now because I need a room tonight well, there's the best restaurant next door. Because at the end of the day, you guys, it's so much more important to have a relationship with yourself that is strong and good and healthy than carrying around dead weight and toxic relationships that no longer serve you. With people who don't respect you or people who just never have good things to say. So those are my three tips for how you can protect your energy all 2019. I hope that you guys got something from this and that these are tips that you can use that will be helpful to you in your life when it comes to creating your your own space your own happy place your own negative free zone good vibes only <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said at the beginning go ahead and give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you would like to see more content just like this and ring the notification bell so that way you know anytime i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next one